Play fans, this is your administrator, Alexander One Theory. Today's presentation is on our 13 district multiverse exchange. This video is way overdue, however, let's uh, look at this area, shall we? So this area that we created in Pathway, it illustri illustrates uh, our very whimsical creative side on seeing different realities in the virtual universe. And uh, before we uh, continue, there is a uh, a update uh, that we successfully updated our simulation. Now we have the latest engine. So the thing is, uh, this area we we haven't talked about or discussed in the past because uh, we were always trying to figure how to implement this uh, new uh, imp uh, metric into Pathway Universe. So the thing is, what Pathway essentially is, being a virtual universe, is that Pathway is not just unique by itself. We, have, we are also on various other platforms. So we have uh, two unpaid endorsements from um, our embassies outside of the multiverse, which are the OS Grid and Virtual Dream French Grid, which we will show you momentarily. We had to run several tests before showing this video because... Uh, what the virtual world community always refers to hypergrid and metaverse, we have it a little bit different in, in Pathway. Ours is a virtual universe that we go many worlds and we are also a uh, multiverse which uh, we open the doors to different outlooks and opportunities with no uh, constraints and uh, we uh, we had in the past an embassy in uh, Second Life which if uh, you are new to this series is that in the year 2007 Linden Labs and uh, the team that uh, does coding with uh, a collaboration with uh, an unpaid endorsement, uh, IBM in the year 2007 had a uh, a venture, and uh, what happened was uh, the 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 three organizations collaborated, and uh, for a brief moment, people were actually in uh, users were actually able to go from Second Life to different online communities. However, that has since closed. And uh, Pathway actually uh, reopened that aspect uh, a little while ago, a couple months ago. And uh, how we did that was we actually had an embassy of Pathway in Second Life. And we actually had a profile. We still do have a profile in Second Life. However, we are more with uh, Dragster and non-paying endorsement, uh, you know, keeping in, in, in sync with uh, what's going on in Second Life. And also, we also have an unpaid endorsement with um, Second Life Virtual Library, which from time to time we go see events or we, uh, we keep in touch. So the thing is, um, today we're not going to go to Second Life because uh, we just want to show the other aspects of online worlds 
that um, that usually normally would uh, always uh, have direct communications because of uh, technology constraints and and various other uh, areas of other um, like uh, how you call it uh, world affairs. Let's just put it to that. So I'm very uh, Pathway Universe is very uh, proud to to continue having partnerships with other virtual worlds, and we hope to only see uh, this further growth in the future. Now the thing is, what's interesting, and this is not mentioned too much in the videos, but more mentioned in social networking, we have held uh, in the past embassies on other virtual worlds so it's not something that is new we also also had um, an embassy in IMVU which uh, we still do have that embassy but uh, you know many years ago IMVU uh, was um, allowing to have a, a free uh, like nightclub or something so we used to enjoy having that and that's actually what predated uh, the, um, the idea of hypergrids because we actually had different online communities back in the years even before IMVU and uh, in, the, in the 1990s you would probably hear it as an online chat room so those were the popular thing of like one dimension, two dimension realities they are going to um, sync in harmony so the interesting thing is um, those were fun back in the day. However, they were necessarily like a person-to-person -person level of communication. And there was not that aspect of the, you know, of a 3D environment, 4D environment, multiple dimension environment. It was pretty much concrete to the basis of you are in that universe and you you maintain in that universe or that domain so what's interesting about pathway and all these changes is that we like to see things in many different angles we like to see things with uh, a personal touch to uh, creativity and we like to actually have that human element that sometimes some some places uh, they they try to create and uh, the thing is, we want to um, to uh, create more of a connection. So the thing is, uh, we, we still use chat rooms from time to time, but not as often as we used to in years ago. And forums, we, we like to use those too, but the thing is, um, it's 2020 and uh, technology is evolving greatly, so... The thing is, we really want to uh, follow the idea that, uh, you know, the person behind the computer is a human and that we want to connect with humanity. So that's the thing. And uh, we want to expand more with Pathway to uh, actually help people in humanity if they have uh, adults with disabilities. So... Before I carry on with that conversation, I want to finish up with this conversation, is that um, that uh, I, the founder, Alexander Wantheri, have helped an individual with autism, and uh, I had to go through a couple conventions, conferences, correspondence to be able to help this individual with adult individual with a disability and uh, I want to help out more families and friends co-workers and network with people to actually help out their loved ones or their close connections get assisted because uh, we all could benefit from one another if there's more collaboration and uh, I'm always a seeker of that. That's why I spent pretty much a long time in Second Life trying to figure out if I could be able to develop any kind of partnerships 
So, um, the thing is, uh, we respect uh, what other people's plans and organizations have, their mission statement and, and their influences. However, um, a lot of people, because of COVID-19, are hurting. And um, Pathway wishes to help people, but there's a lot of, um, you know, uh, legal areas that uh, we can't just go out and start randomly helping people. We need to have funding, and we need to have... Um, you know, follow the appropriate laws in the United States and the world. So the thing is, it's use it's useful to have uh, the resources available to help out individuals. But uh, some individuals that we talked with, they actually have a mixed mixed um, perspective on this. Some want to be helped. But the thing is, the individuals that we're trying to help are the ones that really need the assistance to have their own gain independence. And that's in like living arrangements. And another thing is um, education resources. Because right now in the hiring jobs, it's not really good for people with in dis the individuals with disability. And we want to help change that. We want to make it much more of a fluent and much more of a straightforward experience for individuals with with adults with disabilities to get educated, to get trained, and to get uh, connected with resources so they could live an independent and professional life. So right now, where we are actually is the, the heart of the downtown area of uh, our cartoonish whimsical world, which we call the multiverse exchange. So this is where everything really happens. Now, there's only three destinations, just that's the default. So let's look at our first one, and this one is going to our embassy in OS Grid. Now, we have had relationship with OS Grid for about 10 years, if not longer. And uh, so the thing is, we... Uh, we talk to um, individuals and see what they have to say. But when I go to this uh, this area, I'm not going to discuss any politics because we respect our partners. So let's just go here and I will stay uh, quiet for a while, okay? Thank you for your patience.
So now we're back in our own virtual universe, in our domain. So that virtual world that we were in, we actually traveled to both Texas and Canada. So you might have saw a Canadian flag is because there's two servers. One is in Texas, the United States, and one is in uh, Canada. So uh, the thing is that in, in great regards, uh, they're a very friendly organization and I speak pretty much to all the administrators there from past and current. And it's pretty much always the same experience, and it's nice because a, a lot of times uh, we um, we hear from the administrators that they want to create a community that is as um, open to co communicate in conversation. And uh, I pretty much for ten years or longer have uh, had good relationships. So that's a positive thing. So now the next one we go to, we actually have to be very um, more extra careful because we're not no longer in the um, going to be in any kind of United States um, uh, airspace. We're actually going to go to uh, in the first world, in the first per in the first life. We're going to uh, Paris, France which uh, has a different uh, social, economic, political system. So we have to be um, neutral as possible. And actually, I cannot say anything right now when I'm in their domain because we actually are entering a different airspace of Paris, France. So if I do run into a situation where I have to actually speak uh, to uh, one of my colleagues or one of my friends, it it might be brief um, because uh, yeah it's a little different and then why we pathway has this um, this embassy this European embassy is because we want to open to the world we want to see what other people interests are and uh, to bring uh, closeness to humanity so we're going to see uh, Paris France in the virtual dream French grid. And again, if we, um, we have to use the translator to speak with our uh, native uh, French-speaking uh, colleagues, then we will do, but we usually cannot discuss about anything political or anything, so we'll have to discuss things within the virtual world perspective. All right, thank you and for your patience.
We're back in the United States and Pathway Universe Soil. So that's a great thing. So sometimes uh, Pathway fans and Pathway members, if you do do the hypergrid that the virtual world community calls and virtual universe, what we call is the multiverse, is that it might change you know, um, some graphical images, like for instance, uh, the skin of uh, Alexander One Theory has uh, kind of defaulted back to the original Ruth. This is because of um, versions that he has to go through to uh, have a compatibility layer. So what is different than Second Life? Second Life is what we call a closed grid. And they have just themselves and and nobody can from another virtual world go, go into their virtual world. However, there's other communities in other places of the world where they have uh, these, um, you know, multiverse, metaverse, hypergrid. They're very much similar. And uh, so the thing is, uh, this is something that is cool with... Uh, what we have to offer at Pathway Universe is because you could go pretty much any other location in the world and it could be internationally too. So that's a cool thing. We have also gone to uh, the University of Edinburgh, which uh, we've shown in the past. It's uh, interesting uh, to, uh, to travel to these different places because then you, you gain... A diverse sense of uh, the knowledge so the thing is this is the whole aspect of uh, the multiverse exchange is that uh, when our pathway members want to uh, connect their locations to a physical location they'll be they'll be using this place as a default so it's it's not like you know people are going to design on this location we have a index of this mainland. However, they, because we have this as um, 13,000 out of 13,000 coordinates, so the next one possibly could be 13,001, 13,001, or 13,100 to 13,100. So it's going to be the baseline from all everyone else's uh, creative influences in Pathway Universe, especially as a exclusive member. Now as a standard starter member, you could always, you know, if your friends have an exclusive membership, you could always, you know, join them to see what they're doing. But uh, we want to make a more exclusive membership to expand upon the actual project that we intend to do to help out adults with disabilities. So the thing is, um, trying to think, I mean, we could uh, go to that university that I mentioned, which is a little different out of this course that I wanted to show today, but since, uh, you know, I have collaborated with this professor, A.I. Austin Tate, Professor Tate, uh, let's see if I could pull it up and then we could go there. Now, I'm not sure if he's there, but if he is there, that'd be cool. Then I can mention that we're filming, but the thing is, it's okay, if not. Okay. I didn't have this originally planned, so please be patient with me a little bit. I'm trying to locate it as we speak.
Okay, I think I found it. He has multiple, the professor has multiple locations, so I'm going to type this in. And this is also how you do this manually. So you go to the map, and you say backspace or delete whatever entry was in this third indicator, and then you type in, this is for his... Uh, location or one of his locations I think he has multiple it's been some time since I've been here but I am familiar with the location I'm not sure if this is the one that is his actual university one or if this is his private one so we'll see which one this is you could either touch enter return or find and it registers. So actually, I can elaborate on this, but um, there's not much to do because we already did talk about this. Now, the cool thing is right now, you know, we're in between the United States of America, Pathway Universe, and various other, you know, server locations. And now we're going to the, the um, United Kingdom to see Professor A.I. Austin, Professor Tate's, virtual world so this is kinda cool so we're actually traveling now and it worked great so uh... this is the professor's virtual world he's actually the one of the first professors i actually met in the virtual world so this is kinda cool i actually have a professor in my own virtu uh, virtual universe uh, in Pathway Universe and they have a specialty in uh, English literature and it's one of our members however this is um, Austin's virtual world uh, AI Austin Professor Tate this is the University of Edinburgh We could explore a little bit of this. Here's some freebies that he has for people. Some literatures. So we're actually in the United Kingdom, which is a cool thing. We're in international soil, airspace. I see him, uh, Professor Tate, more in Second Life, but I would like to see him one day in his own virtual world to see what he has to say. I've seen his videos about uh, having actual graduation classes conducted in, the, in his actual university and in his own virtual world, which is kind of interesting. He's really the only professor who does this at the moment that I personally know. So these are official emblems of his university. Now I have not yet ever teleported into one of his teleport uh, 
panels. However, I believe it probably most likely will work, but I don't want to chance it because I don't want the viewer to disconnect by any means because I didn't do any previous uh, attempts with that. So bear in mind that maybe that'll be in another video or maybe uh, you could visit on your own because I just don't want to chance this. There's been times where it disconnects and uh, it'd be upsetting to have to reset the viewer to actually see something that, you know, I just don't want to chance it, okay? The great thing about this is I always love that I find other passionate people about technology and education that they also love to talk about it. And, you know, there's not really, you know, any kind of... Um, politics that uh, you know interferes with creativity and productivity there's a lot of uh, harmonious uh, love and interest that uh, it's very supportive you know I wish in in the professional world in the first life in the in the real real world you call it uh, there was the same thing where you know you wouldn't be afraid to ask you know a colleague a question or you give them that question you answer their question and it's very great uh, exchange. Regardless of you know the direction that pathway we want to pursue, we want to take that in in the virtual universe as well. We want to be harmonious in the idea that everyone should be treated equal, the same, and uh, that people should be uh, valued rather than uh, just just uh, you know not a second thought or anything so this is his creation of like a large statue of people which is kind of cool I see this a lot in Europe where there's super size uh, statues there was one in um, let me see I think it was uh, France and uh, this another virtual world and then this one is in England I mean uh, my bad please forgive me Professor Tate this is in Ireland uh, University of Edinburgh so in the bottom, I'll zoom in, is uh, like what they look appear like as, you know, if they were like uh, regular size, human size, like he has. And then this is what they look as. This is a, this is a uh, technology called uh, Megaprim or something where you, ha you, you, um, you stretch it out um, enormously. Uh, where the X, Y, and Z coordinates of geometry are actually undefined. And you have it so super huge that it, it looks like this, which is kind of cool. He has had this probably for a couple good years now. And then there's other things. Now, it's been a while since I've been here, so I'm not sure if he actually kept things, you know, accessible. So I'm not going to, like... You know, if there's something where it just, it, 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 something happens, uh, bear in mind with me with this. This is kind of cool sand area. I'll walk around it. So, oh, and he also has these little, um, like, vehicles uh, you could test uh, terrain with. And there's a little submersible, which is kind of cool. So... Yeah. Okay, let's just hurry it up a little bit. <laughs> so um, the amazing thing is uh, Professor Tate is very, uh, very um, giving. He allows um, his creations to be shared in the public domain. So a lot of times things he gives away is um, his creation because he likes to ex express himself creativity creatively and uh, it's amazing I wish everything he had was to be given because I really like this idea that he had of this uh, little uh, like New England uh, Victorian thing but uh, I, I commend him on his uh, uniqueness on these little things or big things he has it's a very uh, treasure trove but uh, it's pretty unique
So he has a virtual world, like I mentioned, of his own. He has one also in his um, his university, and he has one probably somewhere else, if I'm not mistaken. I, I remember he had something like three. And also, um, for my Pathway um, fans, when you go on the Hypergrid or Multiverse, Metaverse, you're going to see um, a, a address, and that's the address that you come from, or, you know, usually you appear to go into, like, if you think about an email address, but this is not really an email address, this is an extension to uh, going online to other worlds. Now, you don't see this too often when you go on your own because you are a local resident or a citizen of your own area. But this is what ha what other people see. Now, it's not always the case because I have done this many, many times. On a rare occasion, it will say like, you know, um, you are on the same virtual world or same virtual universe as another person. And it will glitch and say... They won't show you this dot um, extension, either 8,002 or 9,000 or 10,000 or whatever number. And the thing is, uh, that happens when the, the, there's latin, the latency on both ends. So that will happen sometimes. And <laughs> some people, you know, I, I run into, they, they say, oh, you are in our, our virtual world. Um, and, you know, it's not usually the case, but... Uh, it's uh, it's kind of cool, but uh, it's a glitch that somehow happens. And I mentioned it, I think, once or twice with uh, core developers, but the thing is, it's just one of those things you just try to ignore because it's, uh, it's just a little thing. It's a little bug. But it's kind of cool if it, it's either way. So this is actually what I always wanted to see, is he had a picture of a balloon, a air balloon, and this is exactly the location that I wanted to see. So that's kind of cool. And I remember actually looking at this one location of open view. So this was one of his first universities areas in when he first started this. So we actually accomplished that on Pathway Universe. That's kind of cool. So yeah, it's kind of cool, his building and his uh, environment, the lake, the mountains, the air balloon. Just it would be cool to have him here too. <laughs> but he's probably busy. When I do see him, uh, he always comes to an event that I go to. So if I see him, I always say hi. But uh, I don't want to bother him because uh, he's probably got a lot of work on his hands so that's about it we're going to go back to um, our virtual universe and um, you know call it soon uh, a day see like for instance this is a glitch that I was talking about on the opposite side now it's showing the same extension for what we are inside of our own virtual universe so this is uh, something happens too, but it's it's fine. You'll you'll get this unless you want to uh, like um, you know log off and then restart the viewer, and then you're perfectly fine with your regular name. Okay. Well, it's been great uh, having you here today, and uh, there's more to come in the future. Stay tuned. Stay happy, and stay unique. Stay also uniquely symbolic at Pathway Universe. Signing out, your administrator, Alexander Wontheri. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.